Welcome to the New England Journal of Medicine at the 2024 American Heart Association Scientific Sessions. I'm Stephen Morris, the Executive Managing Editor of the Journal, and I'm with Eric Rubin, Editor-in-Chief, and Jane Leopold, Deputy Editor. We're talking about the VANISH-2 trial, catheter ablation or antiarrhythmic drugs for ventricular tachycardia. Jane, ablation for atrial fibrillation has been increasingly established as a potential primary therapy. But where do things stand with catheter ablation of ventricular tachycardia? Yes, Steve, that's a great question. Uh, there have been seminal studies, including the VANISH trial that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine, that looked at uh, catheter ablation for VT compared to medical therapy for patients um, who had VT that was refractory. And in that study, catheter ablation was beneficial. What we don't know is whether or not catheter ablation is beneficial for patients with VT who have not been treated with medical therapies. So, Eric, as we're saying, this study looked at whether catheter ablation could be an alternative for the first-line treatment of VT. How was the study performed, and what was the outcome? Steve, the investigators randomized patients with previous MI and significant VT to receive either antiarrhythmic drugs or catheter ablation. The primary endpoint was a composite of death from any cause during follow-up or more than 14 days after randomization, VT storm, appropriate ICD shock, or sustained VT treated by medical intervention. 416 patients were randomized and followed for a median of 4.3 years. A primary event occurred in 103 patients assigned to ablation and 129 in those assigned to drug therapy, a statistically significant advantage for ablation. Adverse events were common in both groups, though numerically more occurred in the drug-treated group. So, Jane, do you think catheter ablation should become standard of care? Well, I think catheter ablation is always going to be necessary for subgroups of patients, both for those who are treated with medical therapies and fail medical therapies. What I think this trial tells us is that catheter ablation is efficacious as a first-line treatment strategy for patients with uh, refractory VT. And it also tells us that for those patients who really can't tolerate some of the medical therapies or have limitations because of the side effects of medical therapies, that VT ablation as a first-line treatment is both safe and efficacious. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Eric. This study can be found at NEJM.org.